Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here, and today I'm joined by Greg, Mr. Maker, and today we're going to unbox and play test some handy tools, a mini drill and a mini screwdriver set. Greg told me about these mini tools and thought that we all might find them handy, and so I'm going to try them out. And we could also try comparing them to regular power drills. Yeah. I, think I brought one. Awesome, right? I really like how small they are, especially compared to regular power tools. So we're going to try them out with you. And the question I have, because I haven't used them like he has, is are these things a game changer or just a gimmick? <laughs> so we're going to find out together in this video. So let's start by unboxing them and then seeing what they come with. We bought this from right. Amazon, by the way. Both of the tools that we're doing today are from Amazon. Let me put the link up on the screen. So if you want to go and look at them, there we go. JenniferMaker.com slash wow stick is where they came from. So, and this one, Greg, when did you find out about this? Um, I've actually, I've had one for a while, like for personal use. I don't remember the first time. I actually think it was a maybe a YouTube video or so. I saw a person using one of those and I'm like, hey, what's that little drill on your desk? <laughs> It's the size of like a Sharpie, so I was interested in that. All right, let's open it. I don't know if this is my exact one, but... Oh, I can... Yeah. All right. It hold it up a little bit higher so that we can... Hold it up. No, I mean, oh, just yeah. up there, yeah. All right. Yeah. I've got the camera zoomed in as far as it goes. <laughs> so this is like uh, mine, at least, that it comes in this little plastic storage box here. What's inside? Well, do we need to hold? Let's flip it around. Yep. Flip it? Okay. So inside, it's actually a pretty nice presentation. It says lithium drill pen. And we can take it out. And then underneath... Well, I think that's the pen, right? Yeah, there. this is the pen. It's like stuck to this like piece of... Oh, no. It's a, it's a, it's a little box. It's inside. Open up on the side. and more wrapping. Just everything is wrapped. <laughs> All right, it looks like this. This is really small. This is a drill. This is a drill. Yes, <laughs> it's a very small drill. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what else is in there? Um. Oh yeah. I, I just want to show you. Okay. So this plastic box has like this kind of uh, wavy pattern to its lid. Yeah. I actually really like it. So <laughs> you could just kind of leave tools on them and they won't roll oh. all over your desk, which okay. I think is really that nice. cool. So if this is like, yes. So these what are our accessories, which should be a way to charge it. Yeah, I got this one. Okay. You get, is there something else yep. in there? No, I got it. So it looks like little drill beds in here. Now open that up so you can see it. And what's that? So this is the charging cable. It's a like a USB to USB C charger. And yep, so there's eight little drill bits. Can you see those? Not quite focusing. There we go. There's the eight drill bits. So they're in this little plastic thing here. Cool. All right, so the question that I have is, is this charged so that we can play with it? Well, there is one good way to find out. Um, so this is... Again, it's a really nice little presentation. It's just a pen. It's even got a little cap on there, which you just pop off. And there's really not much to it. There's a, only a single button. Let's see. I don't know how you focus. You just you just wait for. She it. There is you the go. master. There she is. <laughs> All right. Just a single button on that and a charging port on the back. Pretty simple. So let's. Uh, how do we know if it works? Moment of truth. Yep. Oh, can you hear that? It's got it's a tiny little drill sound. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, how does it work? Oh, well, actually, really simple. The uh, the head of this unit here has, is in two pieces. And if you kind of put your finger here on the on the, the bottom one, you can turn the top one, and it's yeah. like a little drill chuck. So, it's little jaws that open just like a conventional. Here, let's see if we can hold that up really close to it for yeah, the there. camera. Like, you just hold it right up here, then you can see it. If you could like to reflect on it. <laughs> Sometimes, there we go. Now you can see the little opening of it. All right, so now we need to get a little drill bit into it. It's just, it's a it's a teeny version 
of oh. like a, a normal kind of drill drill there. So it's it's working the, the same way. But it's just smaller. It's it cool. is very small. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I oh, goodness, a couple ounces at most. What would you say this is? This is probably like this, this is on the modest side. This is of, yeah, this is actually a, a pretty small drill, one, yeah. wouldn't you say? Um, yeah. All, all my DeWalt drills are humongous. And if you're doing anything fiddly, like this doesn't belong in a desk, this belongs in a workshop. Right. So the idea of having something smaller was very appealing. All right, so let's put, we're gonna actually try this out. So let's put a bit into it. And what we should try is today's project. So. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so remember today's project are these signboards. Now we attached them with Velcro, but if these were outside and there was a storm, um, like at least here in Michigan, they, I think that they would just fall right off. Okay. Like if it was like a blizzard, like we have blizzards in Michigan. So if, if you were really putting this outside, you probably would want to attach it more securely. So let's try that. So what I'm going to do is we have some blank pieces of wood over here. Um, here we go. And this is about a quarter of an inch thick, I'd say, yep. right? Wouldn't you? Okay. Quarter inch plywood. All right, so let's try drilling this. Everyone see that? What um, bit so would we, you use? We would put a screw through this eventually, mm -hmm. right? So we're mm -hmm. just, basically what we're doing is drilling a pilot hole. So we right. just need all yes. small. So, um, I don't know, let's just kind of go middle of the, okay. the road here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hold it up here so everyone can see. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to loosen the jaw there. And you can even hold your hands up closer to the camera okay. so they can see. There you go. Good job. All right. It should just push right in there. Yep. And then we just turn to tighten it. Yeah. So be sure to tighten it. That's always important in a drill. It is. It's, so that's it. Yeah. It's really. It's pretty, pretty cool. Simple. Yeah. I, it's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the same one that I have because it feels very familiar. So. All right. So. All we do is press that button. And that bit will turn. Nice and quiet. Comparison. Is it? Oh, this battery's almost dead. That's not a good comparison at all. <laughs> all right, so I guess we would want it kind of top center, yeah. right? Because you yeah. kind of want the, yep. if it's hanging from a screw, you'd want to kind of. Yes, I agree with that. that. So. Um, I guess I could put it in at the, the side just so mm -hmm. you can actually yeah, see so hold, it. Yeah, normally we would probably set this down to screw. But yeah, if you hold it at an angle, then they can see what you're doing. I'm curious. I mostly, like, I use mine for plastic and, and acrylic things like that normally. So, all right. So, I'll just kind of make it real simple right about there. Just a little bit of pressure. Oh, well, that was really easy. Right on through that there, didn't, didn't That didn't even... Yep. Wow. Straight through. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked. I see someone asking if it has reverse. Uh... No, well, nope, I don't think so. <laughs> but it's, it's, I think keep it's in mind, it's not like a screwdriver yeah, where you would need that, right? It's well, just a drill. Right? Yeah, like uh, you would need it with a like a maybe a larger drill a larger too. Drill. But these bits are so small, I don't I don't know if you're ever gonna really get right. stuck in here. I don't know what the largest bit you could put in here is, but I wouldn't think it's very large. I would think it would be what they sent us, which is this one right here. I don't and even know what size that is. Given the shape of these. Uh, you most certainly could use conventional bits as long as they're small enough. Right. Nothing right, with I'm... like a hexagonal base, but if it's a, just a normal a cylindrical kind of bit base. Yeah, actually, that was really easy. All right. Well, then that's pretty awesome. Like, like sometimes things are really simple, right? I would say that was really simple. Oh, this is cool, actually. Oh, wait. I just noticed, uh, for mine, I always just assumed it wouldn't fit with the cap, but the, the cap actually will cover the Oh, hey, look the, at this. So there. it's got like a little thing on it. Yep. So you could put it in your, in your, your, in your what, pocket. Your pocket protector. <laughs> your yeah, pocket I'm protector. Not, I don't have one of those, but. <laughs> but you totally could, or you could like, you could put it in the clip of your apron clip, or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? I could like totally put it like right here. What we wanted. need is, right? we need is like a like a marker to compare it to. That's a that's marker? Like, yeah. Like a but yeah, you, you could totally do it because it's got this clip here. Is there anything else about this? Okay, so it does come with the charging cable. So that's cool. It had some charge when we first got it out. So that's also cool. Um, there are eight drill bits. 
Uh, there's seven. We have one in there right now. So uh, my understanding is that you can drill through wood, resin, um, thin metals, then things like plastic, PVC, wax, beads, amber, all those sorts of things. So we're talking like craft mostly projects, right? So yeah. I, I think that if you wanted to go, I don't think this is a replacement for like a full size drill if you're doing like household DIY projects. It, it is absolutely not that. Right. What, what it is is uh, something you keep on your desk so that you can put it in a hole if you need to without pulling out, you the know. Big, big old chonky drill. Yeah. drill. Because <laughs> uh, frankly, it doesn't even work for a lot of smaller projects. But, um, so my hobby is doing like scale modeling and stuff. Things are a lot smaller. And so when a, if a thing I'm holding is only, you know, the size of a box of matches, then suddenly something this size doesn't make sense anymore. Right. Yeah. This is hard. I think. This, tiny absolutely. Things. Yeah. Which is why he recommended it to us. He's like, hey, Jennifer Maker crafters might really like this drill. So that's she, why we're she talking. She was like, we thing. need, we need things like for Mary Maker Mingle. And right. I was like, I, I have something. <laughs> this is, this would be a great stocking set for me. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. And so then it charges through the USB-C cable that comes with it. It's a lithium battery, and my understanding is that it charges in 40 minutes, and then it works for like two to three hours on a charge. And it's just got the one button, and it's really quiet. I thought it was really quiet. I, I will say, I think I've had uh, mine for maybe about a year, something like that. Uh, I charged it once when I first got it. I don't think actually that I've charged it since. Is it still working? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's uh, awesome. But if you're Unexpected, this, but you awesome. Know, if, if you're only using it... Um, you know, like a combined, you know, 30 seconds every other week, like it will probably last a very long time. All right. Well, awesome. Well, I think then that we should unbox the mini screwdriver too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's switch over to the overhead view. You can unbox this one. I can unbox this one. Sure. So let's set this aside because we're going to use that again. All right. So I got this... the easy one. That's got all sorts of goodies. <laughs> this is a mini electric screwdriver set. Let me grab, you can get all this stuff and I'll do it again. Got it? Okay, yes, we got it. Put all your tools away, okay. All right, so this is a mini electric screwdriver set and I want to note before I get started that in the link that you see on the screen, jennifermaker.com slash wowstick, you'll actually see there's the same, the same company that makes the wowstick drill, also makes a screwdriver set. But we didn't know that when we ordered it. We ordered the one that we have experience with. But I, I put both links in there for you so you can shop around and look for what you're getting the best deal on. Because sometimes there's a sale on one and not the other. They're probably going to be really similar, though. Okay? Yeah, I, I think they call it like the uh, F1 or something. I, I forget what it is. It's, but it, it's very similar. But yeah. It's very so useful so you know. comparing different brands, honestly. Like, I love the Wow Stick. But... All right. Well... <laughs> I'm already no, no, failing at opening no, it. No, this, yeah, it's not, you're not failing. You're doing great. <laughs> there we go. I got the bottom. Let's open it up from the bottom. All right. So inside we have, this is called the DY Life Precise Electric Screwdriver Set. Um, but there are some other brands. So this is but this, the same idea. And then the question is, is it strong enough to work for what we need? All right, so there's first there's this big box here, which has this inside of it. Anything else? Oh, it has this thing. All right. <laughs> I think this is a magnetic mat. Yeah. Actually. I think so too. Do we have a little? No. Okay. Again, I had this, but uh, I think I kind of got too excited and I threw away my mat. So I think that's a magnetic let's mat. See, let's put a little screw okay. on it and see if it's magnetic or not. I put this little set of screws in the shopping list too, because it's always nice to have them so that you know what we're using. So, all right, here, put it on. Let's see. I wonder what these dots are for. This is a useful side. Oh, does it work? That is, it works. That's absolutely <laughs> okay. Now I, I wish I hadn't thrown it away. Yeah, yeah, that's, nice. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so magnetic mat, and then a little in centimeters oh yeah uh-huh and then inside this box here is the actual screwdriver it's like tucked into here now this yep. is cool i like how it's case 
is all integrated like this. Here is uh, a whole bunch of Phillips head. Well, actually, oh, different. Actually, there's no. actually different, a whole yes, bunch of different actually. ones in there. Look at that. And then there's ones on the other side, too. Look at all of these. This is crazy. There's so many of them here. Wow. Yeah. Again, mentioning like this case. So this is a uh, like an aluminum housing. Yeah. So it just kind of slips into the end here. So once everything's tucked away, all the bits are held inside that aluminum case. You kind of <laughs> just throwing things. Uh, did I mention it's slippery? Because it's, <laughs> like it's aluminum, just like a powder coated aluminum. But you're not gonna it, it, if it's in here, um, you'll have it. Is you're not gonna. Lose. Yeah. So okay, how does how it charge? Oh, yeah. it's very satisfying. So now this one has. Make sure you can see this. Set these things over here. So this one has the charging on the end, just like the other the other um the drill does so they both have a charger on the end right show me the drill yeah so there's the drill yep. so we just charge it on the end these are probably the controls for it and this is where we're going to put the bit in now there is another box here that i haven't opened yet i'm hoping that this has a charging cable in it <laughs> let's see if it does or not actually i think it has a variety of things in there oh there's stuff there's little stuff in here yep. so What's this? These are tweezers. They just had a oh, they're little, little tweezers. Little, little tweezer. What's this? I have no idea what that is. It's a mystery tool. <laughs> I would say this is, hmm, they call it a nylon crowbar. Looks like it's got a little. A crowbar. Oh, yeah, maybe for prying things. Functions, it kind of has like a slot. Could in. you use it to pry up the staples in the back of the sign? It's a crowbar, uh, right? Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe you could. It, There's it all is sorts nylon, of crazy so... things in here. I don't know what. I'm going to guess that these this? are not guitar picks. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Which part? Oh, what is this thing? Whatever. That's There's... a magnetizer. Oh, how yeah. does that work? Um, so I had one, but I've never actually played around oh, with it. Wow. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of accessories in here, which is pretty cool. All right. Now I apologize. I don't know what all the things are for. I'm sure that if you go to the link that you see on the screen and click on the screwdriver set, it will actually tell you all of the details that we are overlooking. Oh yeah, absolutely. And actually, if you look in the box, they oh, have everything there we go. All it's all labeled right there. there. <laughs> it seems like we've got a, a magnetic pad. We've got the screwdriver, a... Since there's a here, metal right. crowbar, this you absolutely could use for staples. Oh, there we go. So we can use that little, instead of... A little spatch. Yeah. Little spatch. Yeah. <laughs> little spatch. spatch. <laughs> Nylon crowbar. Uh, stainless steel tweezers. They do seem like nice quality oh, here tweezers. they are. Yeah. These are the tweezers. The USB to USB-C charging cable, just like the other one. Also, if you've got one of these, you can charge both devices. Yeah, you can. Uh, magnetizer. A sucker. <laughs> I get like some people use these like for device repairs, so like they'll they'll put them on screens uh, or whatnot. Yeah, so that you can kind of keep it yeah. in place, right, as you're working. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then this is, oh, this is a crowbar. Oh, let's see. Oh, that is also a crowbar. You have a lot of little crowbars. <laughs> I mean, I could see if you were like working on like they a phone, it, but... phone or something like that. You know, you could using the suction and the little crowbar to like lift screens, stuff like that. Lori says it's for that super pesky eyebrow hair. <laughs> well, they, yeah, I have a couple of those. I'll tell you, but I've learned to embrace that. So. Um, <laughs> All right. Anything else? Oh yeah. yeah look at this little, what is that? This is a little card. Like, like a little point that's what they that's what they call it but what does it do what is it for um i'm not sure what the, the like have you ever now i have these but what i usually use them for is like if, if you've ever had a device where you have to like find, like press the little button on the inside through the the pinhole you know oh <laughs> right yeah like a, yeah. instead of like a paper clip yeah yeah don't yeah, step no, that, on that. That, that looks a little ouch. All right. Okay. So maybe we should try it out. I to try it out? Oh, yeah. Well, also, let's see. There are so many bits on this. This is what? 60, 62 and 1, they say. Um, there's actually quite a bit of variety here. So there are Phillips head bits, star bits, torque bits, 
slotted bits. They're just like square bits. Wow, there's actually a lot. Like if you if you look, they they even have nice little spaces where they're indicating their symbols, which is nice. There's some weird ones in there. It's like some security. Yeah. There you go. See, Donna says it's to get the SD card out of a phone. Awesome, Donna. Yeah. yeah. You get a gold star. S <laughs> yeah. That okay, that kind of card picker. I was like, what how would you use this? Like, it's it's an other? SD card that picker. Makes sense. Okay, that yes. Makes sense. I guess I don't switch my phone very often. I should because mine's broken. <laughs> He um, needs a new phone for Christmas. <laughs> That's what he asked me for for Christmas yeah. was a new phone. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So let's try it. So what we should do is we should take, so you drill the pilot hole into this piece of wood here. Mm -hmm. So we should then take that and attach it to a stake to see if it works. Oh, you know, okay. you would want to drill a little pilot hole. You would want to too. drill a little pilot hole. So you should do that. Let's put that over here. We'll put all these things here so it looks nice and neat, like we know what we're doing, <laughs> which is not necessarily true. <laughs> also, again, look at look at these; they're perfect. Look how similar in size they are. They, yeah. they charge with the same cable. I mean, yeah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put that bit back in there. Why don't you put that sign where you'd like it? All right. So wait, not this one. Put the side where I like it. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. say that we're going to put it. Let's move all these things out of the way. Let's just say that we're going to put it like here. Okay. Yeah, we won't worry about that right now. All right. All right. So the bit is back. Oh, put it back there. <laughs> oh, you're going to use that as a guide? Okay, go for it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we might as well. Right. We're just going to put it through the hole there. Oh, need to make sure that's nice and tight. All right. Did it work? Nope. It did. Oh, Look at that. A little off center, but for demonstration. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So, actually, we could have left it right there. Sorry. I shouldn't have moved it, huh? Do, okay. it, do it again. What, you, what? No, it's probably fine. No, it's fine. It's totally All right. Fine. So, now we'll need a bit. Well, we need a screw. Oh, sorry. And then a we need screw. A, a oh, right. We need a screw. Pair it with. Okay. Here are is the box. Box of screws. <laughs> oh, yes. The, take one. All these little... Yeah, just one of these little ones. That's fine. These are itty bitty. Too. Look how tiny some of these I, are. I will say oh that, uh, yeah, this is so small. Um, I will say that you're not going to be able to use this thing for like, you know, for doing Big, any major giant repairs stuff. Yeah. Because like the bits, it, it does look like it has custom sized bits. I, I will say that. So um, you can't just like, you know, put a normal like a standard size drill bit into this. These are pretty tiny. So this is a Phillips head here. So you probably want to do something like this second one there. See how they're, those are all magnetized in there. Which oh, they nice. are. Yep. You can totally feel the that pull. that one too big? That one might be a little too big. It might be too big. This screw is so small. Yes. We need the next one down. There you go. Let's grab this one. Okay. I don't know if like that works. It is seriously small. It, it is tiny. It's very small. <laughs> All right. And this just magnetically clips in there and it won't fall out. So you don't have to screw it in. It just is clipping right in oh, there. Yeah. No, it's oh, just, that's just really magnet. cool. Yep. That's right awesome, in. actually. Really I really easy. like that. Okay, cool. I guess that we also should bring up uh, what's How on works. here. Here, This one's actually pretty simple. It's It's got a forward. Yep. Focus, Wait till it focuses. Focus there you go. All right. Yeah, we have a forward, we have a reverse, and this is the light on the end of it. Oh, that's cool. We we were actually talking like, why doesn't the uh, the little mini drill have a light? I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it seems like you could have one. And then there's an LED indicator on the end, so I think. And it, also, I want to note this is th this had uh, charge in it, it so did. Yeah. we didn't have to charge it before we used it. So that's that's nice. Thank you, thank you, company who who made this <laughs> DY Life. <laughs> thank you, company who made this. Yeah. All right, that screw so small I almost lost it. Okay. But you have to use your little magnetic pad here. There. And then yeah, you set I it up Yeah, but I lost my little magnetic pad, so <laughs> I, I would have lost any screws attached to it. So. All right. All right. Did, did you want to do it or should I do it? You do it. Okay. So we did our little pilot hole, which is very important, I might add. This is, again, it's not a heavy duty tool, even though it turn does. Turn on your light. We'll turn it on. Yep, there, there we go. go. Um, even though it does feel robust for its size, 
So like pilot holes to avoid like, you know, rounding out your bits or something like that, which would not be great. This is so small, I don't know how we're gonna demonstrate that on. You can do it. It is magnetized though. Okay. Ready? Oh, so it already started there. I don't know if you can already see but Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to take our word for it <laughs> that it's going in. Oh, get my Make sure it's lined up because I moved it. it, sorry. There we go. And there we go. Did you want it to be able to, or did you want no, it to make it tight? tight? See if you can make it tight. Okay. I mean, you could have it like that, but um, here, I'll hold it. Thank you. There you go. Is All right. Well, yep, it's still that, actually a little bit, but. but it's actually, well, but it's not going to. Oh, see? no, it's not going to fall off for sure. So. so that worked. That's pretty awesome, huh? I feel like this, this is probably pine board too. It's a plywood and pine, so it's okay. Yeah. okay. It's not like overly powerful, which is why you should do it, but the yeah. piloting holes. Yeah, I really like this light. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. It's a lot of times I have a problem. I does, get, that, does that regular drill have a light on it? Uh, I, the, here, show th it. This one, oh, this one, this yes, this one light. does. I, I don't know how much. Oh, yeah, see, it's almost dead. Oh, yeah. So it's normal for them to have them. But I will say, while I love tech and I love all the gadgets, this is so small. I don't I don't know how the light would be helpful if you can't even see the thing you're right. In yeah, there. yeah. Like your That's hand's awesome. gonna kind of obscure what you're working on anyway. So, so when would you want to use this instead of just a regular drill? I mean, well, well. So for one thing, this is like a lot thinner here than the. Bring that out again. That craftsman out. Yeah, like. This is not going to be able to reach in to get something, the big one, the craftsman, the way this little one is, right? So that's one thing right there. So what So what I'll say is, for, for me, it, it kind of comes down to, one, it's smaller size, it's it's lightweight, so it can sit on a desk, and it's not a, it's not a burden. In fact, <laughs> I put both of my, you could put both of yours inside the storage box of one, which is what I've done. Um, but the other thing is that... This is like a 90 degree implement. So you're holding it in your hand and then it's, you know, it's turning within like 90 degrees of like, I mean, it's in line this way, but this you're holding more like a pen. So for me, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it feels like using like a wood burner or a pencil. Mm -hmm. So is, it's, is, well, it's is, easier to hold. Yeah. Right? Cause I, you can just hold it or a soldering iron. It's mm -hmm. that kind of, of feeling. So it just. I don't know, like I feel like I could just, you know, I could, you know, I could scratch my name if I wanted to on something like this. Yeah. I think the uh, the light went off with a timer, which is nice. Oh, that's too, interesting. If you, so gonna, yeah. if you don't, you won't accidentally leave it on and mm -hmm. run out your battery. I like that. Cool. Yeah, I like. I do a lot of small stuff, so I'm, you know, holding something small and I want to, I want to screw something in there or drill it out. I can do that. So I saw a couple questions in here about what kind of crafting you do. So what do you use this for? Um, I do like like uh, scale model, miniature kind of stuff. I build little buildings. I build you know little cars and try you know, stuff like that. I, I like working in miniature. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this makes a lot of sense for something like that for sure. Yep. yep. So I would say that this is great for um, smaller scale projects, but if you're going to want you know like like your screwing in i don't know like i wouldn't use this for drywall anchors for something right this is just going to be too small it's not it's not strong enough you're going to want to use your regular drill but if you're just doing crafts and small things this is really awesome i think this is pretty cool i'll say that i use the wow stick drill far more than i use this but that being the said, drill right uh that being said i just Over used there. it this oh, is this, this yeah. is the drill Right, yeah, the, the drill. You use the drill more than the screwdriver. Yeah, like 10 to 1. But I did pull this out the other day because I just got a brand new uh, enclosure for one of my 3D printers. And I assembled the entire enclosure, which is, you know. It's, With this it's, little mini one? Yeah, it's like a two-foot cube. So pretty, you know, it, it did a great job there. So awesome. I actually do love it. Mostly I just like having a tool that can you could just put somewhere nearby that isn't in the way and you don't have to, you know, right. plug it into a big, because like 
yeah, you have a big drill like this, but you also have a gigantic battery charger somewhere too. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and this is out of out of batteries. <laughs> like it's yeah, out right it's now. Out of, yeah, it yeah. happens so often. Exactly. So like and and it's gonna be sharing batteries with other things. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you know. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. Does anyone else have any questions? Any more questions? Steeled Water says, I would use it for the miniature pianos I make. That's an awesome thing. Yes. <laughs> Some of these bits are so small. Like, um, I mean, we're talking like the teeniest screws you could imagine. Give this... an example. You can show them. Oh, well, you need something to compare it to. So this one? Here, I'll hold this one. Like, what do we got over here? So, oh, something that, that would make sense. Here's a big X-Acto knife. Okay. Everybody knows the size of the exact. So let's talk scale here. Right. So here's like the wow stick. This is a like a big size X-Acto. So the wow stick is the same as like mm -hmm. that that larger size X-Acto. The the DY Life drill is about is the same about size, the, but longer. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. But uh, I can move this out of the way now that we're done with it, too. Yeah, so some of these bits, so obviously you can see it for skin. This little bit here, this is, I think, it, oh, look, there's a little fuzzy hair. <laughs> that they're, is tiny like here. The pieces of I rope. I try to show it up, show it to yeah. the camera so you can see better how small this is. There we oh, go. Yes. You see how oh, tiny yeah. that is? It's super, you super tiny. You can see tiny. it compared to the end of this exact. See how yeah. small that is? Super tiny. Oh, <laughs> itty bitty. I don't even know there, what to there, use it that for. Is, it is, too. I can just not barely see it. But if you're doing there. like tiny electronics or something, I don't know that doesn't happen. But I, I'll, you know what? I just thought of something. What? You know when this would have been useful? When? We here at Jennifer Maker uh, are known to use a lot lights. of fairy lights. A tremendous quantity of, of fairy lights. And one of the ones we use, I forget what the brand is. This is the one. I don't know why they do this to all of us. They just use like little batteries, like little little battery, bat, little disc battery. But they've decided to put four screws to secure it. So every time you have to change the battery, which for us is all the time because we're constantly using them in displays. Yeah, and, and the, the, we forget to turn them off or they're on for like literally hours and they run out, right? So, oh, yes. yeah, so you can totally use that for, see, these is our light up stars, right? And so, yeah, you could take off the batteries with the little battery pack with that. I don't want to you want to demonstrate for us? squish our little star here. Oh, but... you won't. This is very sturdy, actually. <laughs> Can I use your little magnetic mat? Oh, okay. Here, I'll get, I'll get it and put it on there. Because that is really, really perfect for that. And then they won't uh, get lost as you're taking them off. Yeah, I don't know why they need so many screws for this, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and also you can change a battery oh see it's actually glued on to the other side if only we had a tiny pry bar oh we do look <laughs> tiny pry you, bar do it you could use this yeah we're just gonna kind of put it in there Whoop. well i guess the whole thing popped up but there we go <laughs> but yeah to get to that battery compartment to swap these out i'm assuming these are good and we don't need to do that right Oh, I don't know. Uh, just flip it. See if, see if they're. I don't know if the. Ooh, is it on? Oh, it's, it's it, sure. Yeah, it looks like it's. Oh no! It needs the. Oh uh, yeah, it needs its on the back. Yeah, to make it circuit properly. <laughs> Do you have batteries? Are we changing batteries right now? I don't know if we have. Uh, they're in the battery drawer, right? I can grab some if we there was, they're not working. I we can fix them right now. Well, you know something? Let's fix it because I like these to work. So, 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 see if they're working. It looks like they are not working. So, see, we have batteries <laughs> just for this. Okay, so a, a battery is it one of these? Demonstration for the fans of Jennifer Maker. I, I don't know which kind this is using. What kind well, is that's it? where we're gonna look. Okay, fine. So, this is a twenty thirty two. Twenty thirty two. There we go. Imagine that. Okay, take these bad ones away. And oh, we need some scissors. Can we just work to do this. <laughs> oh, they're, it's like actually perforated. Oh, that's convenient. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Uh, someone is asking if you could drill tiny holes in sea glass. I don't know. Do you think that you could drill sea glass with these, Greg? I can't say that I've ever done it. I know. I've never, I've um, never done it either. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, Tanya says, are you using the drill or the screwdriver? He was using the screwdriver to, uh, in reverse, to uh, take out the screws in the back of the battery pack for these. But now it's now it's ballooned into this whole thing where I have to change all the batteries. Why not? We're doing it. We should change them. <laughs> well, I, I will only ask you to change it for one ornament, okay? okay. But then next time we go to use them, you'll have to change them all anyways. There's an unbelievable <laughs> amount of fairy lights and things like of that nature. Here. <laughs> Make sure Let's they can see, see what you're doing. Oh, well, I'm just making sure to read my labels. I know. It's always a challenge when we're doing videos. Yeah, down you, and up. Normally you keep it really close, but like you have to see it too. So forgive us if we're ever... Okay, I do like the, uh, the little the little magnetic mat. That That's pretty cool. Nice. I mean, how many times have we lost the screws on the floor and we're down on our hands and knees trying to find them? I'm, I swear it happened just the other day. All right. All right. Just want to make sure we're in here, right? Let's see. Is it working or not working? Uh, can this be considered like a Christmas gift for my husband who has to change batteries? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> She's probably laughing. Can. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I think it's a great stocking stuffer. I would have liked it. Yeah. Didn't you buy one for Alexa? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she does lots. Of, she's working on it. There like, we go. Good job. You did it. Yeah, All right. It helps when you're actually paying attention to your positive and negative. I always forget, like, uh, which side's which on those little disc batteries. She's holding it there because I keep pulling it out of camera. <laughs> I'm being helpful. There. I don't know. We need to. I guess I only had to undo two. <laughs> Dale says she just tuned in and I'm thrilled to see Greg in this live. He even has his own bubble. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think I have him on the wrong sides though. I feel like they should be on the other side. I put him on this side because well, like, don't move them now, okay. Well, I was trying to match us the way we're sitting here, but then our hands, like your hands are coming out of my bubble. These are <laughs> My hands are coming out of your bubble. Every time you see her hands are actually my hands. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm under the table with my hands up. <laughs> I see there's glitter on my hand. This is merry maker mingle season, so everything in the studio is covered. There's glitter me. everywhere. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they are changed with the assistance of a DY Life electric screwdriver. Yay! Good job. And it looks awesome. All right, so that is our play test and review of the mini drill and the mini screwdriver. And I think they're actually really cool. I would say that these are a game changer, not just a gimmick. Do you agree? I, I think that I would rather have something like this around like for little things and I have to pull out a big drill for it. And, and like I am a DeWalt guy and in my shop downstairs, I have like six DeWalt drills. I love my DeWalt drills. I don't want to have to grab them when I'm doing something small on a workbench. So awesome. I, I think that um, a game changer for me, no, but like, I feel like you need the right tool for the job. And sometimes yes. a big drill isn't the right tool. Right. Awesome. All right. Well, if anyone wants to get them, I put the link down at the bottom of the screen. It's jennifermaker.com slash wow stick. And in that shopping list, you'll see both the drill and the screwdriver. I also put the little mini screws that we were working with in there as well if you need a little kit like this. These, these are really little screws though. <laughs> they are really little screws. So yeah. they're, they're good for little projects. They're, they're perfect for this, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. Thank if you. you have any questions, Feel free to put them into the vid like below the video, or just always let us know. We always read all of our comments and respond to all questions whenever we know the answer or can point you somewhere. Yeah, and I think that's it. Uh, so thank you, Greg, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs>
Uh, that's it for today. Until tomorrow, this is Jennifer Maker and Greg, a.k.a. Mr. Maker, <laughs> reminding you to craft a life you love. Thank you.